went to Providence High School in Burbank, California. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm from Singapore. Okay, my name is Kara Palacini. I went to Westlake High School and it was a public high school. Providence was a private Catholic school. It was run by the Sisters of Providence. There are about 550 students in the whole school, so nine through, grades 9 through 12. And we had 129 seniors in my class. Um, our high school works differently. Um, our last two years of high school, when we were 17 and 18, is called junior college. And then when we were 13 to 16, we attend secondary school. So the secondary school I attended was called Raffles Girls Secondary School. And after that, I went on to go to Meridian Junior College. There is about 2,500 kids, and in between like 2,200 and 2,500, um, it was pretty much upper middle class, and okay. a lot of honors classes. I guess it was a pretty academically driven school. We did we had a lot of sports teams too. I took a lot of the honors and AP classes. Those were the vast majority of classes that um, I took. So. It was pretty competitive. It was like a core group of like 40 students out of the whole class. And we like were together all the time because we all took APs and honors. Um, I was pretty competitive in high school. I, I was the valedictorian. So it was kind of pretty well established that I was the smarty pants of the school. Um, ref my secondary school was actually the second best and the first the best school was actually our brother's school, which was Raffles Institution, so we're actually really good. It's really hard to get into. So generally, it's really competitive. Everyone's really smart, like they're really well-rounded. We're really good at sports. They're really good at like arts and drama, and basically just like people are just overachievers. But somehow, I ended up at the bottom of the overachieving crowd, and like so my class was just like a bunch of slackers. Um, so I didn't really feel the competitiveness. Um, so I continued to slack till O-levels, which is kind of like what you have to take before you graduate secondary school. And they determine which, like, path you can take after that. And they did, like, rank all the schools, basically. And I got a really bad grade for what a, a Raffles girl should get. And so I woke up and I started studying really hard in junior college because I couldn't get into Raffles junior college, which was was the college you're supposed to get into if you're from Raffles, but I didn't. And so I worked really hard in junior college and I came in third in my graduating class. It was a really competitive high school, especially for a public high school. Um, really prided itself on having AP classes and offering honors classes and it also um, a lot of our sports teams were pretty good so we went to state for a lot of that. So it was really competitive. There were six of us that got into USC, four of us are here now, um, nine people got into UCLA and six of them went, we had people, a lot of people go to the UCs um, and mainly people stay local, like a handful of people went out of state, like to Cornell or something, but most people stayed in Southern California, um, a lot of people did it because their parents wanted them to. Um, some of the students in my class went to community college and then and then transferred um, to like four years, like the UCs or um, USC. Other students went to Cal State, especially like Cal State Northridge um, was a big was a popular. School. Okay, there are three main colleges in Singapore: uh, <coughs> National University of Singapore, Nash. Nanyang Technological University and Singapore Management University, which is a newer, which is like a business school. Um, so a lot of people go to th these three schools if they go to college, and a lot of people apply. Some people apply to like private universities, but not they're not as popular because they're like a lot easier to get into. Um, and people like to go to New Zealand, oh no, Australia, sometimes New Zealand, but it's not that popular. A lot of people come to the States also. A lot of people who are able to apply for the really prestigious scholarships and actually get them in Singapore, they go to like the really good ones, like the Ivy League, so like M MIT, um, Harvard, Brown, you know, Stanford. Yeah. And then there are some who just like, go to random schools, such as NYU, 
I don't know, just random schools. U Illinois, I guess. Um, there were a lot of kids who went to community college. We had a lot of people nearby, but I would say that the most popular schools by far were UCs, and then um, definitely not as much to private. But a lot of kids go to privates, but it'd be like more like one kid went to Penn State, one kid went to NYU, and tons of kids went to UCs. Um, it was kind of a shock to come from like, I've always been in small private schools, so to come to USC I was like pretty concerned about how I'd make friends and everything. I thought my high school prepared me pretty well, especially like in terms of writing. We had, It was a college prep school, so we had like pretty intense teachers and stuff. I didn't I feel very well prepared in the sciences. Um, I entered as a biochemistry major and quickly learned that I wasn't up, up to par with like the honor students at USC. They were definitely not the same as the honor students in high school. They were, I felt smarter than me and I was used to being the smart one. So it was kind of a culture shock, but I also think like it made it made me prepared like to be like a good person in college and like we had required community service in high school, so like I did JEP in college because that was just like what you do. Um, but I think it prepared me fairly well. I've I've seen like public, like my classmates that went to public school, and like I think they like, may, might have had a better education than me, but maybe like my teachers were more caring and like took time and patience with me. So it's hard to say. But I think I was fairly well prepared for you.